Hey guys, welcome back to Reading Percy Jackson with my Christian mother. I am your favorite teenage host, Mila. And I am your favorite Christian mother, Misty. And this week we read chapter 7 and 8, My Dinner Goes Up in Smoke, and I Capture a Flag. A lot of stuff happened in these chapters. Yes. Yes, yeah. very much. Yeah, let's let's just let's just dive right into that. Okay. So, so where we left off was the mm-hmm. bathroom incident. The uh, Percy Jackson's ba- his bathroom es- escapade, and everybody hears about the bathroom incident. So everyone. quickly, everyone stares at Percy, right? So they're all like, "Whoa, Ooh, look who's at him. this dude, Girl, right?" That's the guy who splashed Clarice in the face, and she's probably gonna beat him up and yeah. kill him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Annabeth is still giving him the tour around camp, and everybody's mm-hmm. like, "Dude." This dude done beat up that swole chick, right? Because she's big, like a bodybuilder. So, we established this. She she's a she's a she's a football player. She's, she's, a, a, she's a linebacker. She's a linebacker girl. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. okay. It's okay. So Annabeth, forget, forget Bella and the Bulldogs. It's Clarice and the Bulldogs. Mm. That's a that was a Disney Channel show. I don't even know about it. I yeah. just know that it was about a girl playing football. So Annabeth tells Percy, she's like, hey, yo, bruh, like, you need to go talk to the Oracle. Like, the Oracle's going to help you out. He's just like, the who what? And she's just like, not the who, the what? Mm. Yes, exactly. The what? She lives in the attic of the big house, and she might have been what, like, Percy saw in the window. So then, like, Percy's, like, trying to, he's, like, kind of getting a little homesick, and he's Mm -hmm. like, man, I just, like, want to go home. And Annabeth's like, uh, this is your home. This is your home now. Like, you home. Homie. Get comfy. Homie. We homies. <laughs> She's just like, okay, Percy, get comfy on the floor now. Mm-hmm, You're mm-hmm. sleeping on the floor for the rest of the summer and the rest of your life. <laughs> so, and she also tells him that this is the only place that's safe for him. And mm-hmm. he's like, what? And she also tells him his father's not dead. And he's just like, did you did oh. you know him? And she's just like, I didn't know him. Mind blown. But like, I know he's a god. She says Percy's dad may send him a sign to claim him. Why you gotta send me a sign, Dad? Like, you can't just pick up the phone and call me? Because, like, that's basically what Percy says. He goes, if Mr. D can, like, make soda appear out of thin air, how come Percy's dad can't, like, make a phone appear? They have cell phones. They have watch phones. They have well, walkie-talkies. This, this took place in, like, 2005. Okay, they still have cell they phones. Had, they had flip phones. Mm-hmm. Yes, they do. They had flip phones. So... Percy asks if he, he's like, uh, like, am I going to be stuck here forever? Like, what? Like, this is not what I envisioned for He's just life. like, is there a way that I can leave? And then Annabeth goes, well, if Chiron and Mr. D give you a quest, that hasn't happened since. A long and then she looks off into the distance. If this was like a, a movie or a TV show, she would like look off into the distance. Yeah. And a flashback scene would happen. So, and she also says that some kids like herself stay there forever yeah they they're year-rounders like clarice and luke and annabeth Mm -hmm. that's basically who they name off but the reason they do that is to keep safe from monsters so like if children if you're a child of aphrodite or a demeter then you would be safe to like go to school and stuff like that but if you're a child of a more powerful god then you you like would probably have to stay there or else monsters are going to kill you or try and kill you. And she's like, check out my necklace. Check out my necklace. <laughs> this is the sign. That I it has am like so cool. It has five beads and a college ring. And I've been here forever. And I'm ready to go. She's been like I think we've established that she's been there more than the uh, well, I think it's in this in this chapter she said that she's been there longer than most of the counselors and they're all in college while she's 12. Yeah, she's been there a long time. Long time. Long. So then he asks Annabeth about the summer solstice that he overheard Harry Legs Ky- and Horse, Horse Butata Chiron talking about when he was still at school. Uh huh. So Grover and Chiron were discussing the summer solstice. So he's like, let me just try to throw this in there and see if maybe like I can get something yeah. more. So then, like, uh, they, so then, um, they start, they get into a talk about Annabeth's parents, where Percy asks, well, who's your dad? 
And she goes, he's a college professor in Virginia. She was like, well, my dad got to be the god, bruh. Yeah, that's a little sexist, Percy. Women are Percy. gods too, Percy. It's a little sexist, Percy. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, and her mom is Athena, the goddess of wisdom and battle strategy. So going back to the summer solstice. So she but tells Percy solstice. she has no idea what's going on, but something's not right. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something major's wrong mm-hmm. on Mount Olympus. And she's been there before. She's on been a field there before, trip. on a field trip. Y- you know, those like things that you do with your school where like you go someplace cool and you learn. Well, these kids, they have field trips too. They went to Olympus for the winter solstice. And, uh, well, now, well, then Percy goes, Olympus, you've been there? And she goes, well, yeah. Duh, with Luke. And Clarice. Yeah. And a bunch of other campers. She goes, during the winter solstice, she goes, Mm -hmm. but then something happened, and, like, everybody was running around, Mm -hmm. like, it captured the flag, but there was no flag that was captured, and they knew something was up. Yep. And, uh... Oh no, I was gonna say something. Oh, the and we find out that the that, that the Olympus that Olympus is on top of the Empire State Building mm-hmm. and Percy didn't notice and Annabeth goes, Well well you're you're a New Yorker, right? And she he goes, Well yeah. She's like the special elevator takes you there. Mm-hmm. You know, to the six hundredth floor and he's just like, Okay, the chick's crazy now because if I remember correctly the 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 Empire State Building only has like a hundred and Two like floors. 102 floors. 102. I was going to say 145. I don't know where that came from. Okay. It's fine. 102. Yeah. Uh, but I guess it's true. He, he's just like, I guess it's true. We don't know. We just going to believe what we going to believe right now at this point. I'm just trying to figure out where my mom at. Yeah. So, when they finish talking, Percy heads back to cabin 11, which is the no mama and daddy cabin. We the trash know. can, as I like to call it, it's the trash can. Aww. It's the recycling bin. I guess except for Luke, a, except for a couple of kids who are actually the children of Hermes. Yes, yeah, his like. daddy's Hermes. He tries to console. So whenever he heads back to the cabin, so Percy's all down and he's like, like he, he's a sad sack right now. Yeah, he's just a sad sack. And Luke's like, it's okay. You're here with it's okay. us, it's okay. and we are amazing. And we are fam. We are family, and mm-hmm. we are amazing, and we are here for you. And Percy's just like, thank you. No child, no child, no person that's ever been older than me, except for my mom, has ever loved me before. <laughs> and Percy asks Luke, "Well, who's this oracle person? Who? What's this oracle thing? Right? Yeah." <laughs> and then um, Chiron told her that according to a prophecy, she was not going to be allowed to go anywhere. Wait, you wait. Wait, did I skip something? <laughs> you did. <laughs> you skipped it. We're we're talking about Luke and Percy. You're talking oh. about Annabeth. Oh, my bad. Yeah. So we're it's gonna, late. Yeah. So it's very late. I had so. my coffee a long time ago. I have water. I think I still might have some coffee. I should probably drink it. Mm-hmm. So. Percy asks about the oracle, and then Luke explains that the reason Annabeth told him, this is where I got confused, <laughs> I mean, like, is because Chiron told her she full was circle. not going nowhere <laughs> until somebody special came and okay. she can go on a trip. Or her something. special quest buddy. So she's been waiting for a few years. Oh, yeah. She's, I think she's been waiting since she was eight. That... That's, um, that's what, four years? Wow. And Annabeth, in the back of her mind, she thinks... She thinks Percy is the special quest buddy. Is he, though? I don't know. I can't confirm nor deny. And then Luke goes, well, she thinks that everyone is the special quest buddy. Mm-hmm. So, like... Oh, bless her heart. Oh, yeah. She, she's been wanting this for yeah. so long. So, at dinner time... They, no, this I'll, is the first dinner time Oh, now. wait, 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 can we what? go back a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, it's like, so we get, we get deep in, like, this kind of chapter where we get a little bit of, like, backstory with Luke where he, he has only, like, seen his father once. Hmm. And, like... He, he is mad at his daddy. He's very mad. Mad. Like, and Percy can tell why he's mad. Because, like, because, like, why? Like, y- you only showed up once. <laughs> Percy's like, my daddy didn't even call me yet. At least your daddy showed up once. Once. I ain't even seen my daddy, bro. 
And he's just like, you're, you better be happy that, that your dad showed up once. My dad didn't. <laughs> Luke's getting told by a 12-year-old. <laughs> he's getting told by a 12-year-old. He's like, my daddy, I don't at no least in, At least in our imagination, he's being told by a 12-year-old. Yeah. Anyway, they go off to dinner. And like. It's the weirdest thing ever. Oh, yeah. Totally weird. Yeah, I guess. So So we get their food. Which is like toast to the gods. To the gods. And Percy's like, mm, Well what god do I toast to? Um and whenever they after they toast to the gods, they hand out the food which is like which is meat, delicious. Just delicious meat. I don't remember what it was. It was, it was meat, that's all I remember. It was delicious. <laughs> so they have to go and drop some of their this part food this part made me sad into this part, the fire as offering i'm not like i i'm not uh, i am not like I don't like to waste food yeah i'm like i'm sad i'm sad i'm sad for food like it's it's like the thickest of the brisket the butterest of the rolls the thickest of the grape mm mm mm, mm. My mouth's watering. But, like, isn't that, like, real life, too? Like, we're supposed to give our first to God? So they were given their first to their gods. Yeah. Right? Oh, and we forgot to, like... So I think I need to throw you in a fire. What the... Give my first to God. I don't know. I'm just saying. (laughs) What's up with my stomach? Sorry, (laughs) y'all. Guys, in the chat, please put, do not burn Mila. Please, in the chat, (laughs) put, do not burn Mila. If my mom reads that, uh, like... A lot of times, maybe she won't throw me in a fire. I think it makes sense, though. The reason why they give their first to their god daddies. Yeah. And, and mommies. mommies. And uh, we forgot to say that in the last few chapters, how they did establish that there was a capital G god, and then there was, like, the tiny gods, which, like, the lowercase g. I'm down so. with the capital G-O-D god. So, anyway. So... That happened last time. Like, okay, cool. They dump their, you know, wine that they're they don't stu- have. The- pretend wine. <laughs> he goes, he, he, literally in the chapter, whenever a person wants to get a drink, Luke goes, okay, you can have anything. Non-alcoholic, of course. Like, you had to specify. non alcoholic This is children. He's 12. He's, or he's 12. What is he going to ask for? Like, I, 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 don't, I, don't, know. I don't know already. any alcohol drinks. We got more problems than titans and <laughs> yeah. three-headed things. We, we so, got a withers from Minecraft. <laughs> so then, over the next few days... Oh, wait. This is like the, this is the next chapter, I believe. Um, after dinner, Percy like, goes to the cabin. He goes to sleep. And then that's the first day of camp. That's In cool. chapter 8, we get sword fighting. Let's get to sword fighting. Uh, we get, like, swords. Shing, shing, shing. Squeak! That was slice. Yeah. That was me sword fighting. Slice. We have our Slice. dogs with us. I'm not quite sure what's going on over here, but. Slice. <laughs> he was really struggling. Uh, we, have, we, have our, we have our blind dog, and then we have our not blind dog yeah. with us right now. Mm-hmm. So, um, okay. <laughs> he wants camera action now. Yep. Oscar, say hi to everyone. Everyone, this is Oscar. Oscar, this is everyone. Everyone, this is Oscar. He's blind. He thinks he's, he's looking at you. Oh yeah, he's you. blind. <laughs> he thinks he's looking at you. <laughs> he's blind and yeah, poor thing. And then we have he's Gigi. He's a good boy. And then we have Gigi. She's our princess. Yes. Anyway, uh, sword fighting. So, uh, it was so they're being taught. So Percy and the rest of the Hermes cabin is being taught by Luke. No. No surprise there. He is, like, the oldest person at camp. <laughs> I'm not joking. He's 19. But he hasn't been there longer than Annabeth. They've been there for the same amount of time. Oh. I thought she was there longer no. than him. No. She said she's been there longer than most of the head counselors. Doesn't she have, like, one more ring than he does or something? No, she has a college ring. He has she, He has her dad's college ring. And she's 12. What? It's her dad's college ring. Oh. Anyway. It's like a genius. No, she's not that smart. I don't think. I think you just figured out she's on TV. Okay, okay. <laughs> she likes it. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna keep you right there for now, on. That is so cute. Anywho. Anyway, 
Um, so it stated that, so like one of the, one of the kids, a random camper, said that Luke has been like the best sword fighter in over 300 years. That's a long time. That is a long time, Wait, right? so is Luke 300 years old? No, he's not, three, he's just the best sword fighter in 300 years. In the years. past 300 years. Yes. They've compared him to others. Gotcha. Yes. That kind of I don't know how, I don't know how that works. I don't, I don't think I want to know how that works. But yeah, he's not 300 years old. Thank goodness. He's uh, the best sword fighter in 300 years. Hmm. So, um, so yeah, he's he's pretty good. Yeah. No, pretty good's an understatement. He's he's awesome. <laughs> he's awesome at this. This is like this run. This is in his blood. And Percy and like so they get into teams. Mm -hmm. And Percy's left by himself, and has to go again. Like it has to team up with. God's knows. She doesn't like seeing animals on TV. She's she's have, she's the animal on TV. We're gonna have to get her down. Yeah. Uh, and have to go against the best sword fire in over three hundred years. Mm. Wow. Like you're a beginner and you have to go against a master. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Our dog just stood on her hind legs. She's really tripping about this camera. Our dog just stood on her hind legs and it was adorable. <laughs> So, anyway, um, so yes, so they're teamed up now, mm -hmm. or he's back in cabin 11, which is the... The cabin. No... The trash can. Oh, The trash can cabin. Makes me feel so sad for them. We already talked about this. Yes. <laughs> we already talked about this trash can cabin. The no-name cabin. The thrown away. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the, they're the, they're the, they're the no-branders. They're the oh. no-brands. Which is now a brand. <laughs> they're the no brand. They they're like the they're like the food items that have the no brand names on them, or the no no some name of them brand. Some are delicious, and some of them mm, mm. like anywho. Okay, so so Percy settles into a routine over the next few days. Yes. Right. Yes. So and then he's testing out different activities. He's testing out archery, which he's horrible at, and foot races. Horrible. <laughs> and wrestling. Mm -mm, no bueno. And canoeing. That he is good at. <laughs> and canoeing. But you ain't never hear nobody win a war from a canoe. I think I heard like that Nubius, Nubius, um, Nubius Ezius, the son of the lamest god there ever was. He won a war in a canoe and then he died shortly after from a disease. If you don't learn it in college, it don't matter. Did not learn that in college. <laughs> I made that up. That's what I thought. Nubius. So, anywho. Anyway, he wasn't, Percy wasn't good at anything except for canoeing. And people don't win wars from canoes, sorry. Except for Nubius. Never heard of anybody hitting somebody over the head with a canoe. <laughs> Stabbing somebody with a canoe. <laughs> No. <gasps> no. Mm -mm. Never. There was this one time, rant, short rant. Uh, I was at a church camp with my mom. She was there. Uh, we were doing canoeing, and I was in this friend. This I was in this friend. I was in, I was canoeing with one of my friends, and she got really mad at me because I didn't know how to canoe, and um, and I didn't know how to canoe, and well, she knew how to canoe because she had went the other day. And she got mad at me because I didn't know how to steer the canoe. Rant over. Uh, moral of the story, don't go canoeing with someone that went canoeing the day before you. Or, or else you want to get yelled at. Just let it go in one ear and out the other. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, then, when they finish talking, Percy, okay, so they're already in cabin 11. So... Percy, Annabeth thinks Percy might be this special camper. I think we already talked about We this. did? Where we at now? I forget. Chapter. I don't know. We I were think. in the part where he was canoeing. Oh, yes. So, they're already settling into the routine, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, Percy and Luke battle. Mm -hmm. Not battle, they're training, but like, I mean, I guess you could talk, cut, talk, call it. Call it a battle. And Luke's like, I'm about to show this little boy how it's done right I don't here. That, I don't think that's what he was thinking, but okay. Have it your way. He's like, I'm about to show this little cowboy how the big cowboys do it. Why is he referring to Percy as a cowboy? I don't know. I don't know. 
so, but Percy does like kind of win once. No, the first time he loses, he gets his he gets his butt handed to him. Basically, like here's your butt. <laughs> here's the your, second time here's your he kind of wins. And the, and then they take a water break, and Percy dumps water on himself because Luke's dumping water on himself. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, that la- lo- that looks refreshing, and but, then dumps water on himself. But it's but not just it's, refreshing. It's godly water. Not because really. I think after it's that, water. he starts winning. Mm-hmm. What? And then Luke's like, oh, hmm, maybe this little dude has some potential. So, like, Luke teaches them this, like, disarming maneuver. I tried to do it with someone's arm once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where you, like, twist and then, like, I can't explain it. I can't explain. Like, you, you twist and then clatter. The sword clatters out of their hand. It forces them to let go because your arm's not supposed to go that way. So finally Grover's back because he's been wait, gone a minute. Wait, wait, you're going too fast. Oh, sorry. And um, so, and then uh, we're about to see, like, we're about to see Percy's butt get handed to him a second time. Percy's butt get handed to him the sequel. Uh, and this one girl, or this one kid... Like, uh, tells him, hey, uh, yeah, be careful. Yeah, be careful. Um, uh, you're about to get your butt handed to you again. And then he's like, um, maybe look a little easy on me because I- I'm new. And she, and then they're just like, yeah, yeah, believe whatever you want to believe, kid. Just like you believe you're going home. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they like... They try it, and then, like, and then Percy miraculously wins. Like, wow. They're like, what just happened right now? What? And Luke's just like, okay, show me that again. And then it tries again, and then Percy's just like, fails. Mm. Yuck. Well, um, and then one kid goes, um, well, beginner's luck, I guess. It, it can happen. It can happen. Beginner's luck is a thing. Mm-hmm. Beginner's luck is a thing. Anyway, Grover's back. Well, after finally, that, finally, Grover is back. He was getting in trouble for days. It felt like it felt like days. It might have been days. I'm not sure. And like he's and Percy and Grover are talking about like why and about the cabins and the gods mm-hmm. and uh, sorry and why some cabins are empty. And some aren't. Well, turns out there were a couple Zeus kids, and that's why Zeus cabin's empty because there's no longer any Zeus kids. <laughs> Hera cabin is just like for, um, I guess, reasons. Mm. Poseidon cabin. Um, yeah, there aren't a lot of Poseidon children. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the Artemis cabin is for the hunter of Artemis to say. Uh, she swore she would be a maiden forever. So she has no kids. That's right. And then Hera has no kids because, well, um, she is married to, to Zeus. Mm-hmm. And her husband does all the cheating. Why doesn't Hades have a cabin? Because Grover said he does his own thing in the underworld. Oh, that's he only right. co- He only, like, comes up for the winter solstice. I forgot about that. That's right. So Zeus and, ba- and Poseidon have had empty cabins for 60 years. Yeah. 60 years. Zero people zero, in those cabins. Zero people. Zero. So they made a pact that they were not going to have and any more kids. After World War II. None. All of them. Let's just say <laughs> Zeus and Poseidon's kids won and Hades' kids didn't. So and the reason why is because their kids are too powerful and they cause too many wars. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What about other wars were started by children? Of the big three. I wonder if it's because they're scared that they're going to take their position. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe the, maybe the gods are just scared. And they're just like, okay, we need to stop the kids because our children are too strong. And like... And then I'm going to have to eat my child again. And then it's... No, gonna... different person. Oh, that was Wrong a person. That was a titan. My bad. And they're just like, okay, th- then we're going to have to eat our kids. And they're just like, I don't want to eat our kids. I'm on a diet. I, I don't want to go on the child diet. <laughs> so... Zeus, however, he fell off the wagon mm, 17 years ago. So Zeus had a kid 17 years ago, mm-hmm. and uh, they talk about it, and they, it, her, 
her, her name was Talia, mm -hmm. or her name is Thalia, whatever way you want to pronounce it. I read it as Thalia, I say it as Thalia. I almost named Mila Natalia, and I was going to call her Thalia. Weird, huh? That was weird. What a coincidence. I would have had a... I, if that had happened, one of my friends would have probably called me Nat, because she's like that. <laughs> Not my favorite name. But anyway, so... Sorry. So Zeus broke that oath. He fell off the wagon and then fell in love with like a, a 1980s uh, like TV star. Ooh, Farrah Fawcett. We don't know who it is though. But, and then he brought a terrible fate upon his daughter. About, upon Thalia. Mm -hmm. um, so the, so Hades got mad. Yes, super upset. Hades got really mad. And like he was uh, like throwing all of his monsters after this poor little girl. Who was Percy's age. Yeah, she was teen. She was 12. She was Percy and my age. So, um... So Zeus was forced to turn her into a tree. A tree. A pine tree. Yeah. And it it was on, like, it was on Half-Blood Hill. And, like, this satyr that had, was protecting her, wanted to, um, protect her and have her go... And then stay, but she told her them not to because she wanted to protect her friends. So she died. So and the tree still is standing there at Camp Half Blood, and it protects them from monsters with her spirit, so protecting she's not, the threshold of the camp. So she's not dead. Dead. There's like a there's like a child sticking out of that tree. There's a child sticking out of that tree. I'll be like, how you mean I'm a tree pops? Like, what? Just tree pose. Tree pose. Just, just, just tree pose. So anyway, so that's the end of chapter eight. No, it's not. Oh, well, it's not? Capture the flag. Oh, duh. My bad. <laughs> okay. So then we time skip to Friday, which is capture the flag day. And right now, Ares, is hol Ares cabin is holding the champion. Mm -hmm. Like, the is holding it right now. There's two teams, all obviously. Aries and Red team Athena and are team. leading the teams. Yes. And then, uh, well, the Athena cabin had teamed up with Hermes and Apollo, and I think that was it, right? Percy's with the Hermes team in alliance course, with Athena. Of yes. course, of course. The, they're, those are like the three biggest cabins. We obviously know who has and the Percy, most kids. And Percy's like, whoa, what is up? Why are y'all giving me, like, for real, legit He's like, weapons? And then Luke's just like, well, you have to fight, of course. And Percy's just like, like, for real? But I'm a child. Like, for real, for real, for real? Like, like, like for real, for real? Like, I don't know. If and then Luke's just like, for real, for real. Like, my mama don't let me use swords. My mom, my mom, he's, he's probably just like, my mom doesn't even let me use the kitchen knife. Like, I can barely cut my steak. My mom doesn't even let me use the knives in the kitchen. How am I supposed to use a sword? I don't know why your dad bought you a sword. That's not, that's a different story. <laughs> a different story for a different time, but yes, I have a sword. That's neither <laughs> here nor there. A different story for a different time. Mm. I'll probably talk about it in some later episode, mm. but yes, I have a sword. Mm. Her name's Raya. <laughs> Anyhow. Anyway. So Percy's surprised, right? He's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! They're like giving me armor and a sword and everything." Yeah, like I really like and, and, and a shield yeah, that's like crazy. as big as an NFL like board. Yeah. So during the game, the Ares team mm -hmm. attacks. So, uh, so Percy, he's on like he's on river duty, like he's on like crossing duty. Thank God for that. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so the Ares team, they attack him, and he's all alone. He's all alone. So, like, it's just him and the river and the trees. So, um, so while the other kids are... And this is payback. Oh, yes. This, this is, is payback this is for payback. the bathroom incident, by the way. Bath bathroom escapade. This end, um... Somebody still has hurt feelings. Flurries. And then, um, so... So Percy's all alone with the trees and the river and the fresh air. And then he hears, like, leaves and sticks crunching. And it turns out to be half the Aries cabin. Six of them. 
Wow. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Somehow he manages, though. Somehow he manages to fight them off. Clarice is the only one left, and, like, do you want to, like, go into detail about the fight, or? Mm, we can. Okay. Details. So, it's him and Clarice, and she's yeah. literally, like, kicking his butt. Like, she's she about to win. She's, like, imagine she turns around and literally just starts kicking his butt. Like, <laughs> literally. <laughs> she's like, literally kicking his for butt. For real. Like, she is really upset about that bathroom incident. Um, that hurt her pride a lot. But like, if you were in Clarice's shoes, that would also hurt your pride. And you would want to kill him, too. Oh, for sure. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. So, but somehow he gets pushed into the creek, right? Like, yes, he gets, he, he gets pushed down God into the that. creek. Yes. And then, like, he gets, he feels stronger. He's re, re, He's re, re-energized re- by the creek. Regen. He drank, it's like, it's basically like he drank a regen potion from Minecraft. Yes, I Or... Play. A monster. What? A monster drink. Uh, oh, a monster drink, yeah. Or, or he drank coffee. Coffee, monster. Coffee, monster, something. Any of those things that have coffee, extra caffeine. Coffee, monster, Starbucks drink. Mm-hmm. Or he drank a regen potion from Minecraft. Or ate a god apple. Mm-hmm. So, um, so, yes, I play Minecraft. I love Minecraft. So during this time... Right, he's over here fighting, 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 mm-hmm. fighting. Like, the people are, like, trying to beat him up and stuff. They're just like, whoa, whoa, what's going on, what's going on? Luke he swoops in. <laughs> he, he, like, he does, like, over the creek. Yeah. That's how I imagined it. Don't judge me. Yes, that's how I imagined it. And then, um, like, and then there's, like, these Apollos and these Hermes is, like, shooting arrows and, like, running. It's like, it's like ma- Being war. human shields. Being meat shields. Mm-mm. They're being meat shields for Luke. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I, I'd, be, I'd be that one kid in the trees. I'd yeah. be that one kid that's just, like, perched on a branch. I'd be the one watching Percy. I'd be like, oh, I was cleaning the cabin. Sorry, oh. I missed it. I was cleaning the cabin. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oopsie. So, yes. um, it's so like, and then once he, once Luke crosses the, uh, the border, the river, the flag turns gray, turns like silver and has a, a caduceus on it. That means they won. Yeah. So he manages to get it and then they win. Yeah. So, so then it's revealed that Annabeth placed. Annabeth placed Percy, Percy in there. that. Like, in that situation, yeah, because to distract the Ares team. Yes, she knew Athena's always got a plan. She knew they were gonna come after Percy, and Percy's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you just use me as bait?" Um, yes, I did. I'm yes, I did, and I'm not sorry for it. He's like, "You're kind of pretty," <laughs> and then they you hear, "You kind of look like a princess." Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yes. I, I I don't try. I don't try. I, I work on brains, not mm. beauty, but I'm both. So then as like the games finish up, Percy's like, that's they, weird because I know I had a scratch here. I know I had a cut anyway, there. Anyway, they hear like a roaring sound. <laughs> oh, but it's more like. <laughs> and then a hellhound comes out. Mm. A heckhound. Mm. It comes out and like. Uh, Chiron says something in Greek, and Percy understands it perfectly. He don't know. He don't know how, but he does. He doesn't know how he understands it, but he does. He's like, why is it that I know what he just said? He's like, he's looking in the air for like an answer. Yeah. He's like, that's so weird. And then the the like, the heckhound pounces on him, and I imagine that all heckhounds look like pugs. Aww. They they all have flat faces. That'd be really hard to kill one. If you love pugs. She does. If you've noticed, if you if you've watched this part, you've probably noticed that my mom loves pug. We have two, and if four, if you count my aunt and uncle. <laughs> so, anywho, so, uh, but the hologram that appeared over his head whenever that not happened, yet. Oh, oh, my bad. Not yet. You're jumping to conclusions. Oh. Not a conclusion. Chiron okay. is saying that somebody summoned that hellhound. Yeah, somebody summoned the hellhound because if we, because like we've learned that monsters, like they can't come through the barrier unless, come through like Thalia's Therese barrier unless it is from um, a person inside the camp summoning it. Mm-hmm. So there is a 
imposter among us. <laughs> someone sus. Someone is mm. Jesus. Mm. And someone is Dionysus. And someone is a wizard, Harry. Someone's about to get cut up in here. You That's would cut all them. I'm saying. You would cut them. I would cut somebody. Yes. So. Someone is yes. the, there is an imposter among us. Just wait till a body has been discovered. Mm -hmm. And then we'll finally know who the imposter is. Mm -hmm. So this hound thing is after Percy too. Yes. So Percy's like, dang, first I got all these people trying to kick my butt. Now I have this three-headed dog thing. No, it's, like, it's just one headed. Oh, whatever. It's a heck hound. It's a big one that's like super cute and I don't want to kill it. It's, a, it's just like a black hound with red yeah. eyes. It ain't right. He's like, I'm tired. So, like, the ha the hound gets killed, and, like, Percy, he, like, he knows that there's a giant cut, like, that's cut through his armor, and, like, he, he's scared to look, but, like, like I'm a person that's, like, disgusted by blood. Like, I, I get it. I get it. Like, bleh. I don't, like, no. And Annabeth, like, baptizes him in the river. Basically. He, she's just like, Percy, get to the ocean. Mm -hmm. Percy, get to the water. And he just like sidesteps. And he's just like, guys, look, I don't know how it happened, but. And then everyone like looks up. And there's a hologram that appears over his head. And Annabeth goes, oh. Percy, your father. Your father. Oh, this is not good. This is not good whatsoever. So the hologram is in the shape of a. Three tipped spear, trident. a trident. And then Chiron, dun, dun, Chiron dun. goes, and then Chiron goes. Poseidon um, has claimed his son. Goes, Perseus Jackson, son of Poseidon, uh, Earth Shaker, Storm, whatever. My favorite one was Father of Horses. <laughs> <laughs> Father of Horses. Makes sense. And now we know who Percy's parent is. Dun, you know dun, that, dun. that Percy, we, we've known this. From the very beginning, Percy is a vampire. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a son of Poseidon. He's a son of Poseidon. And this is not good because if we learn, Poseidon has also fallen off the wagon too. Apparently. <laughs> he's like, and Hades is the one driving. He's like, he's, he's, like, he's the one driving the wagon. He's just like, ooh. Uh, sorry, sorry, Poseidon. He's uh, like, I'm what had happened back. was it was an accident. It was an accident, and your mother was pretty. Oopsie. Your mother was pretty, and it was an accident. I'm sorry I brought you into this world. What had happened? You had one job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not have kids. One job. Yes. One job. And Poseidon has a wife. Poseidon has a wife. Her name is Amphitrite. They all have a wife. They are hot. They, they, they all do. That's, that's the one that you've gotten correct about mm -hmm. Greek mythology. They all have a wife. Mm. Amphitrite Man. is a though. Amphitrite doesn't give an F. Hera is just like revenge on anyone who my uh, husband has F'd. She was like, give me that black American Express and I'm going to do some damage. Yeah. And then uh, while well, the women haven't done anything except for like... Um, he was child friendly and was effed by Zeus. Anyway, um. Can we not say effed? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll stop saying that from now on. Okay. They. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, Percy is now. Percy. We found out that Percy's a son of Poseidon. This isn't good because he's one of the most powerful demigods now. Which we learned about Talia, who is now a tree. Yes, Talia Percy, is a tree. Do you want to be a tree? Percy, do you want to be a tree? No. Or a waterfall? Do you want to be kelp? Do you want to be a waterfall, bro? Do you want to be, uh, do you want to be a, do you want to be algae? Do you want to be like an algae ball? Do you want to be a fish? What's that stuff that people go and uh, scuba dive and look at? Coral. Do you want to be a reef? Do you want to be coral? No. No. No, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't want to be coral. I don't want to be seaweed. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be kelp. Mm -hmm. I want to eat sushi. I don't want to be sushi. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Uh, and that's where it ends with everyone kneeling to Percy because he has just been claimed. Oh. Oh. That's what I picture. I picture like the heavens opening up and everybody's like, oh. he's fish Jesus. Yeah. He's fish Jesus. Mm -hmm. Cause like he's, he's the son of a God. Mm -hmm. He's fish Jesus. Let fish Jesus set you free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and that's where we end. Well, um, this has been, this has been fun. 
And I just wanted to say, um, if you want, I have a couple accounts on stuff. I have a Wattpad, Wattpad account. Uh, you can follow me there on uh, Demi Titan one uh, I have a couple stories out. They're pretty interesting. They are Percy Jackson fan fictions. And then I have a Tumblr, um, the Titan Princess at Tumblr.com. You can follow me there. Do you want to say if you have any accounts out? Mine are work related. It's kind of boring. Uh, yeah. Um, and but that, if you need to buy a house, move with Misty. Hashtag move with Misty. Uh, that has been our show. We'll see you, I think, next week, I guess. Um, bye. Bye.